Hello, this is Bryant Myers, and welcome to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth after a few months off again. And what's brought me back here is, with my busy schedule, is this whole Chandrayaan moon landing. And as many of you know, I was very passionate about the whole Artemis mission, and I did well over a dozen videos validating that Artemis was real, that we've you know, the whole, everything about the mission was real, and I did a whole bunch of videos on that. So now that I'm seeing a lot of flat earthers spread these, <laughs> um, basically there's the images of the Chandrayaan, the Vikram lander, and, which were never intended to be actual images, as probably many of you know, but uh, I don't understand why flat earthers just kind of took that and ran with it, which was admittedly a computer animated image of the Vikram moon lander and never intended to be the actual image. So I wanna go through here, not just, not just that, but just this whole, the whole landing and kind of just validate that like I did with Artemis. And um, I've got an outline here, first why I'm doing the video, which is a funny little story. And I do wanna just give a little overview of this, this historic event um, and some of the flat earthers ridiculous memes that they're sharing. Um, Take a closer look at the Indian Space Research Organization, the mission control screens, because when you, when you see the mission control screens, it's very clear that it's just a visualizer and it just, it's almost just obvious. And many of the commentators even would say that. Um, I want to go through some of the actual footage from the cameras on the Vikram lander because there was actual footage. And, um, and a couple other neat things, um, there's a Polish astronomer that verified the Vikram um, in, in its orbit around the moon before it landed uh, and tracked it really well, just like Astronomy Live was, tra was tracking Artemis. Um, so that's a further validation that this is real. And then I wanna show some um, photo shoots. We actually now have um, from Chandrayaan 2, um, some very detailed images of where the Chandrayaan 3, where the Vikram lander landed and you'll see like a before and after image where it's not there and then it's there. So again, just great proof. So let's get right into it. So <laughs> one of my friends on Facebook, um, I won't mention his name, but um, you can see it here. <laughs> I, I, I kind of, he's one of the reasons I got into flat earth debunking. So, and it's because we have many, many mutual friends. And some of those mutual friends started to believe flat earth because of him. So. I got a little passionate debunking him and then I got on other forums and it just started to kind of snowball because it just got pretty easy. It's like these things are not hard to disprove. So anyway, so he posts this today and again, this is the visualizer. This is never meant to be an actual image of the Vikram lander. And, but this, this is the thing that flat earthers are doing. They're just taking this and running with it. They're just saying, oh look, it's fake and we'll see some of the memes here in a minute. And so basically I just commented and basically saying a lot of things I'm gonna go through in more detail in this video. And of course, he just, his only response is try harder. He doesn't really have a response because he didn't watch the live stream, which I did. So now I wanna give a brief overview of this historic event. After the 40 day journey, the Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-3 made a successful touchdown with its lander Vikram landing near the moon's south pole marking the country's second attempt to reach the uncharted lunar territory. The lander was named Vikram after Vikram Sarabhai, father of the Indian space program. Now this makes India the fourth country to successfully take a domestic spacecraft and land it softly on the surface of the moon. And it was nice to see, you can see all the excitement here, mission control applauding. And since the landing, we've had a few images that we can see here and we have heard that the rover has made it successfully to the surface. And we presume the next few days are gonna bring some more data and some more possibly images. And, and actually they already have pinned down where it's landed, which we'll go through at the, at the end of this video here. And so um, this is again, just such a watershed moment and for flat earthers to just be crying fake again it's just, it's just sad because they did the same thing with Artemis. Again, to me, Artemis and these space launches and moon landings are totally destroying flat Earth. So they have to come up with something. So what they did was they took all of these images that were meant to be computer generated. They're never 
they were never proposed to be actual images of the lander because when you think about it, how can the lander take an image of itself? There's not like a lunar landing uh, selfie stick. Um, and, and again, this is on the South Pole and they, don't, they didn't have like a camera crew <laughs> waiting to take the images. So of course they're gonna have to use some computer generated images to kind of give us an idea of what it looks like. Um, and, and so what, what, what came from this is today just a barrage, or and maybe yesterday by the time you see this video, just a barrage of flat earth memes just spamming this whole kind of flat earth community. And give them credit, they, they, tried, they come up with some creative stuff. And so it, all these images were based on this visualizer, which we're gonna look in more detail here in a minute. And again, this is never meant to be an actual image of the, of the, of the Vikram lander, but they took the visualizer and they, they just ran with it without even watching the live stream like I did. And maybe some of you out there have watched it as well. And, um, and so you just see all these examples of these silly memes that are basically making fun of the landing. I mean, totally dismissing what's a great achievement by India. And, 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 and it's just based on a, a big misunderstanding. And it's not a matter of debate even. None of these agencies, none of the news networks were saying this was the Vikram lander landing. They made it clear that it was just an animation. So nobody was claiming that this was the actual landing. In fact, we'll see in a minute some of the pictures of the actual landing as, as the craft approaches. So now I want to take a little closer look at the Indian Space Research Organization's mission control screens. And you can see kind of a, uh, this image here. And there, you can see across, across the top here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screens. And right now they got four of them active. So I kind of want to look at these four. And and again, I did watch the live stream, so you can hear the commentators. I mean, some of it was, was it either Hindi, I don't know if it, it might have been Hindi, whatever language they were speaking, but the translator then would speak English. So I was able to follow along pretty well with the, with the female translator, because she was speaking mainly English. And, and again, she, she would basically, more or less, in so many words, say that this is just a visualizer. This is just kind of to, to show the mission control kind of where the, the craft is going based on all their telemetry data, all their navigation data, uh, et cetera. So it's not, it was never meant to be an actual image. And again, Artemis kind of did this too. Remember when the Artemis launched, they had kind of that longer, just little um, computer generated image of the Artemis craft. So again, this is just, a, these were just visualizers and then flat earthers take it and, and say, oh, look how fake this is. Well. It is fake, and, it's, and, and nobody's saying that it's not. And, um, and when I say fake, I mean this is just an animation. This is not meant to be the actual craft, as we, as we all can understand. Because when you really, and again, when you think about it, to get an actual image of this, we would have either had to have some cameras already down or another probe to follow it. But they didn't have the budget to send another probe just to film the landing. So, I mean... Again, I don't understand why this is not hard to understand. Um, so, so this first screen is showing the, the visualizer and then you can see a trajectory display. And as the landing got closer and closer, you can see the, the height, they would do kind of this countdown, which you could see on this screen here. And this is the horizontal vertical velo uh, velocity and then the altitude. And as it got closer and closer, this kind of counted down to zero. And over here now, we did have an actual camera. So where you can see the lunar surface. So this is the actual image here. This is never meant to be an actual image. Um, and so now I want to just kind of show you some, some actual footage. Now the first bit of footage here is, um, uh, this was taken a few weeks ago as, because this is a 40 day mission. So as it was coming into orbit, these were some of the first images of the moon from the Chandrayaan spacecraft. So just take a look here. And then we had the actual first image taken from the Vikram lander. At, once it's landed, we got this image of the moon's surface. And again, in the coming days, we'll probably get some other images from the rover. We'll see. I'm not sure what we're going to get, but um, certainly I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what, what, what happens. Now, I do want to kind of conclude by showing that this Polish astronomer actually verified 
um, the Chandrayaan-3 early, kind of early in its launch, early in the whole mission. And he was able to use all the data from, because again, just like Artemis, the whole thing was kind of plotted out. So you, if you follow where the Indian Space Agency was saying the Chandrayaan is, and if you're a little bit lucky, you can find that you can actually, with your telescope, you can actually see it. And he was able to lock in and, and follow it here, which is pretty, pretty difficult. Again, Astronomy Live did the same thing with, with Artemis, and it's just incredible diligence and, and just a lot of, I mean, you have to know uh, the, these, these computer, pro, these tracking programs, are very sophisticated programs. And I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in it, but, but this guy, Scott Tilly, who was a member of the observer, observation team, he provided the trajectory update. And, um, and then he, uh, the same guy, and I want to kind of, um, kind of end on this, is he did find where it actually landed. And here we have the data from the um, images from the Vikram as it's descending. He was able to sort of match the craters with the actual part of the moon. But even better, Scott Tilly, the same guy that did the tracking data, updated his Twitter with, with actual live images from the Chandrayaan-2. So this is from the orbital, Chandrayaan-2's orbital high resolution camera. And this, what, what this is, is it's showing you the, those same craters we just saw. And this is uh, eight hours before landing. And then, and then about eight, eight hours later, or whenever it did land, um, maybe it was, it was some, somewhere in between these two, two images, it landed. And eight hours later, we now see the craft. So, so you see the before and after here, just proving that it actually landed. Um, and the reason we know that it's definitely the, the Vikram is because these craters match the craters from the Vikram camera as it was descending. And so as it was coming down over these craters, this is where it actually landed on the moon, on the south pole of the moon. And again, the south pole, there, there's many components to this mission. One of them, of course, is to look for water because if we're ever going to colonize the moon, obviously water would be difficult to transport from Earth. So if there is water on the South Pole, that obviously makes colonization a lot easier. Um, so that's really all I wanted to say. just wanted to keep this one quick just to kind of expose all this ridiculous nonsense about flat earthers thinking that just the, 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 visual, the visualizer or the animation was somehow meant to be the actual landing of the Vikram. And, and again, this is easily debunked if you just watch the, live, the, re, the replay of the live stream. So again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.